Hi, my name is Olivier, Marketing Manager at Expo. Today we'll do a quick overview of the latest addition to our portfolio of fiber optic test equipment, the new FIP435B Wireless Fiber Inspection Probe. An inspection probe is basically a tool that is used uh, in order to uh, look at the end face of a connector and to assess if uh, it's free of any defect, uh, damages or contaminations. So uh, every time you touch a fiber, whatever the, the application that you're working on, fiber inspection should be the very first step to complete before uh, touching to anything. This wireless probe actually offers exactly the same capabilities as its USB uh, wired equivalent, the FIP430B, which means a three level of magnification, uh, full analysis capabilities, as well as uh, the largest field of view of the industry. Uh, it also features something unique to Expo, it's a fully automated test process. What we mean by fully automated test process is that the user simply has to connect the tip of the probe into the connector and the probe will recognize there's a fiber inserted and trigger the process to start. It will find and center the fiber image and it will adjust and optimize the focus to the best level possible. Uh, it will uh, capture the image, uh, run the analysis, provide you with a pass-fail result and actually save and report automatically. Now the real difference sits in the fact that instead of having a, a standard USB wired connection from the probe to let's say a, a display kit or test platform, it's actually now a Wi-Fi connection that links the probe to an Android based device. Uh, on the Android device we have a brand new uh, version of our uh, Connector Max 2 uh, application called Connector Max 2 Mobile which you can actually download for free uh, from the Google Play Store. So there's actually many benefits of using a wireless uh, inspection probe such as this one. The first one looks very obvious, but it's the fact that you have absolutely nothing in your way as you perform your inspection task. That means no battery pack, no uh, Wi-Fi adapter, and no wires in your way as you do your inspection. Uh, that really improves the test ergonomics and actually help you reach out to a location which are usually hard to access and have one hands free to actually uh, move the things over and be able to, uh, to do your inspection more easily. Now the fact that the inspection software also runs on an Android device also brings a lot of benefits. First and foremost, uh, that means that you can turn the, anyone's uh, phone or tablet into a fully-fledged fiber inspection solution, uh, which means there's absolutely no compromise that has been done into the design of the uh, uh, software application running on the smart device. The other benefit is also the fact that you don't need to carry any bulky equipment. Let's say you just need to go with your phone and the probe. And another good thing is that you can also benefit from all the connectivity of the smart device, meaning the 3G, LTE, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, uh, GPS functionalities, everything that comes with a smart device, you can benefit from it. And you can actually share your results using these uh, communication, like, like uh, email, Dropbox, uh, anything that uh, is featured on the Android device. Now let's take a look to the product more in detail. First and foremost, even if it's a fully automated fiber inspection probe, it also features a manual functionality such as the focus wheel adjustment, uh, capture and magnification button, uh, the power on off button directly on the probe, so let's uh, boot it up. Um, we have the LED uh, pass fail indicator, which is right here, and also the status. So if it's the probe is in action or in standby, you, you're gonna see it through the LED. So at the bottom here, you have the uh, Wi-Fi indicator to tell you that there's a connection. Also, you have the uh, battery indicator. And on the side, talking about the battery, this is a, a fully rechargeable battery that lasts for a full day of inspection. Uh, also, in the door here, you can actually replace your battery, order one from Expo, and install it by yourself. Another thing interesting is about the inspection tips. So really, uh, those, those tips are also compatible with uh, the previous tips of the FIP 400 and 400B, so you don't need to, to buy new tips uh, if you go with that new uh, wireless inspection probe. In terms of accessories, we also offer an option with the probe, uh, what we call the belt ulcer. So it's basically a, a pouch where you can actually fit the inspection probe right here and put all your cleaning supplies, uh, let's say a VFL pen, uh, there's a place here where you can put your inspection tips that you need for the day and also a pouch in the back where you can actually fit the uh, cell phone right here so you're ready to go uh, with that on your belt and uh, for, for doing your inspection day. Now let's see how we perform a standard connector verification using the wireless fiber inspection probe. For this uh, manipulation we'll need uh, one standard 
um, SC connector from a patch cord like this one. We'll use also the smart device, the probe and some cleaning device. So let's first start with starting the application on the mobile device. So first we have downloaded previously the uh, Connector Max 2 Mobile from Google Store and installed it on the unit. Just click on the icon and at the same time I'll boot up the inspection probe, so holding the uh, power button to boot it up. And we're going to wait until we get the blue light to see that the Wi-Fi is actually on, which we have now. We'll see the probe appear here in the choices with the serial number and see it's connected to Wi-Fi network. So now the probe is pairing with the uh, unit and actually because it has been paired in the past already, it's going into live mode right away. Um, so now before doing the inspection, maybe we can uh, do a little overview of the uh, actual uh, software application. First and foremost, what's interesting is about the different measurement name and identification option that you can have. So let's say the auto naming here, you can actually decide to include the serial number, FIP model, cable ID, job ID, every, all of these options, you just press on the little plus button to add it up to the list of the active identifiers, or you remove them really simply like that. So let's add, there we go, and just keep basically the serial number. Um, you can also go into the identification and really input all the information that you will need in order to close your job and also send your reports afterwards. So uh, basically all the information is, uh, is there such as uh, you will find on a complete uh, fiber inspection solution on a platform or test equipment. Uh, so let's say we take a, an example. So let's say we want to remove expo here. Uh, you can type it with the, the keyboard or you can also benefit from uh, the smart device uh, option. So if you have options to use either way the voice or even handwrite. So let's say I use handwrite. I can write expo like this. Very easy. So that's really convenient when you're in the field in order to, uh, to capture all the information you want. So you can also go into the increment and actually uh, adjust the, the, the values really easily and decide if you want to add also uh, some active increments as part of the process. So if you want to add a frame, stuff like that, you can really uh, easily remove it or add it to your uh, identification information. So let's go back one step, go back to the main screen. Uh, another key aspect is about uh, the standards. So uh, if you go into test configuration here, you're going to be able to see Let's say we'll put all the standards that we, we can view. So all of these standards are the ones who are pre-built in uh, the device, in the software. So right now we have this one selected. If you want to select another one, you can just slide up the uh, little cursor here and actually change it to whatever one you, you want to select. And um, at the end, if you want to stick, let's say, with that main uh, standard here, uh, as, as the main one you want to use by default and you can just hide the ones that you don't want to use like this. So let's go back just to one, uh, one screen again. Another aspect which is interesting is about the uh, application settings. So if you go in, the, in this uh, section here, go to the application settings, you can decide to remove the auto capture. So make the capture manual and same thing for the uh, saving you can decide to save the result automatically. Uh, only save the, the fail or the past result depending on what you want to do. So really, we'll want to put it to full automation. So we're going to enable the auto capture once the focus is uh, to the optimal level. Let's go back one, one stage again. And now let's look how it works with the uh, inspection. So one interesting aspect is that it also supports uh, screen rotation. There we go. So now the, uh, the actual FIP is on standby mode, so it's waiting, it's in live video, it's waiting for a connector to be connected. So all I need to do is just connect, insert the probe into the connector tip, and the probe will do the whole process automatically. So it found the center of the image, adjusted the focus to the maximum level, as well as run the pass-fail analysis. So in that case, our connector is failing as per the standard. So if we look at the table here, 
you can actually see the number of defects that were found in the different zones. So let's see the core cladding, adhesive and contact zones, and actually what triggers the uh, analysis to, um, to reject the connector as a fail. Uh, interesting thing you can also do is you can go back and actually either way remove the overlay so you can just have the connector image or put back the overlay with the analysis on it. Also if you want to be specific about one section of the, of the connector you can actually zoom in and really see the different, the different uh, defects in, let's say you want to see if you have uh, something in the core zone or uh, something that touched really the cladding, it's uh, very important that you can actually zoom in like that. Uh, also, if you want to send the uh, actual report afterwards, you can use uh, either way, um, let's say, uh, uh, send the Connector Max 2 file or an image, such as a PNG. So let's take the image for this one. And you have many options to send it via Dropbox, Facebook, Gmail, uh, anything that you have uh, set up on your, on your system. So you can decide to send just a, a message and you just enter the recipient and actually you're going to send this image to let's say your manager or to a specific database to upload it. One thing you may have noticed is the LED uh, pass-fail indicator on the unit that provides you with a, a red result uh, when it's a fail and a, a green result if it's uh, passing as per the standards. Uh, so what's really interesting with this, uh, it's a feature which is unique to XFO and actually uh, you don't have to look back to the smart device to know your result. So let's say someone working in the uh, fiber to the antenna application uh, could actually rely just on the LED and just do their inspection without having to carry on uh, the, uh, the smart device in the other hand. So let's say that you get a, a, a red result like this one. Now you can take off your smartphone from your pocket and actually look why this result is actually failing as per the standards. Uh, that's really uh, helping them to, uh, to use both hands as they do their manipulation and, and really concentrate on the inspection task. Now let's uh, clean up that connector, do the, the test a second time. So now you have two choices in order to reset uh, the probe in live mode. Either way, you, you press on the capture button on the probe or you simply click here on the uh, smart device. So now it's back on live mode, live video mode. Just insert the connector again. There we go, the process is done. Image is taken and then we're gonna get the result if it's failing or passing. So now we get a pass as per the standards. And if we go in the table again, we see all the defects. So there's a few defects still there, but nothing that would trigger the analysis to fail the result. So as you can see, this fiber inspection tool is really 100% automated, meaning that anyone can actually use it without having to uh, follow any training. Uh, also, it's uh, completely wireless, meaning that you have nothing in your way. And also it connects to an Android device, meaning that it's accessible to anyone that owns such, uh, such a smart device. Uh, finally, there's absolutely no restriction, so no power pack, no, no extra adapter and anything that gets in your way. So uh, that's really uh, all the freedom you can have for, for doing your uh, fiber inspection. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, quick overview of the Expose wireless uh, inspection probe. Uh, if you have any questions or you'd like to get additional information about this uh, solution, please just go on the website expo.com slash FIP 435.